Starting in May 2020, Autodesk is offering new plans for businesses of all sizes. Plans that aren't based on serial numbers, but on actual people. If you're thinking of transitioning from multi-user to a named user subscription, we want you to see how easy the process is. At your next renewal, trade in each of your seats for two subscriptions for two users on a named user plan for a similar price you're paying today. Here's how to make it happen. To be eligible for trade-in, you must be within 90 days of your renewal window, connect online every 30 days, have a product that supports single users, and be running a supported version of the product. Your new named user subscription is only compatible with the current version or up to five versions back. You can make the transition in four easy steps. Here's what you'll need to do in your first 30 days after trade-in. First, you'll need to add users. In the standard plan, you can invite single users, multiple users, or import a file for a bulk invite. The premium plan offers single sign-on using company credentials. After initial sign-in, users get access to all Autodesk products they are assigned to and are automatically added to your user list. Two, assign those users to your subscriptions one at a time or import a file to add and assign many users at once to a specific product. Three, switch your network license. There are two ways to do this. You can automate it across all user devices with a support tool or you can have users do it themselves on their own device. Four, inform your users about the new sign-in process. They will be prompted to sign in the next time they open their software on any device they're working on. No need to enter a serial number or reinstall. Now, you and your users are ready to enjoy the benefits of our new plans, such as product usage reporting, which will start immediately after your users are set up. As always, we're here to make sure your trade-in goes smoothly. For more information, visit autodesk.com backslash four steps.